Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about post-wedding process and traditions and or whatever you wanna call it, but when you come home from a wedding, what do you do? So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I was at, a, at my studio and I was doing a high school senior. And the mom had asked me, what is my process when it comes to photography when I get home from a session, high school senior session, wedding, doesn't matter what it is. So for me, <clears throat> I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to process. Um, habitually, uh, I have a certain thing that I do all the time, meaning, Checklist, 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 checklist. So, and everybody's different. So if you do something different, go ahead and put it in the comments below. If this is beneficial to you or helpful to you, leave your comments down below. I've already done one video for preparing for a wedding. I've already done another video for the day of the wedding. Now we're gonna do a video for post wedding, okay? So for me, Wedding's done. I've already said this in my last video. Go over and say goodbye to everybody. Have business cards. Pass them out. Um, drive home. I always try and remember to have water with me because I don't realize how much I'm talking and being around people and things like that and talking and things like that. My throat gets very dry. So I have cough drops, lozenges, um, mints, butterscotch, anything like that. Um, but if I'm driving home at 11 o'clock at night, um, I always have a water in the car with me just so that I have something to kind of drink. Okay. If I'm driving a half an hour or an hour and a half, it really doesn't matter. Um, if I'm driving an hour and a half, hour and a half is like my limit. 11 o'clock at night, you're done. I usually get a hotel and stay overnight. So if that's your case, th this probably does not come into the same process of what I do when it comes to that because that gear stays with me in the hotel room, doesn't leave my camera until I get back home. So when I get home from a wedding, come in, walk inside of my office, which is an in office inside of my home, put all my gear down. I literally open up my flash bag first. I take my AD200 batteries out. I take my batteries uh, that I've used, whether it, whatever they are, put them right on the charger, click the charger, done. I walk over to my camera bag, camera one, camera number two, camera one, camera two. Um, I will take the memory cards out. So when I leave the wedding, let me back the truck up for just a second. My second shooter is with me. I will physically take my hand. He puts two memory cards, because he shoots with two uh, uh, what, cameras also, two memory cards in my hand, close. Right there's my uh, travel bag. I open up a zipper or a Velcro pouch, tuck them inside of there, press that down nice and tight. I feel through the package, make sure that it's in there kind of thing like that. I hand him his pay, he's done. Now, when I get home at night, I will go right to that same Velcro. I will pull those two cards out. I'll put them on the table. Um, I go to my camera one, camera number two, pull those out, put them down on top of it. So all four are right there in front of me in the same spot. They're, they're different kind of cards, so I know which ones are mine. I always take camera number one. That has the most images on there, 16, 17, 18 honor images, whatever size wedding that it is. I literally will put my USB in, turn the computer on, boot it up, and then I put the card into the memory reader and the card reader, and then once I start to see that start to status load, I go take a shower. I know it's gonna take some time to do that. Um, I'll go take a shower, come back. By the time I come back, it's either done or about to be done. I take that memory card out, I put it up into my card holder, it's about a box about this big, uh, and I put it, it's up in the corner over here on my desk over here, I put that into slot number one. So it's a foam thing, so I push it inside of the slot there. I go over to my next camera number two, put that inside of there. There's usually less images on there, so it doesn't take as long. Back that one up. So while that one's backing up, I'm typing in the first camera number one. Bride's first name, bride's uh, groom's first name. So bride and groom, or wedding couple, um, the wedding date. So it's gonna be so-and-so, so-and-so wedding. And then it's gonna say the date, October 5th, 2024. And then it's gonna say Ron number one or Ron number two. And then 
save it. Next wedding, next uh, card gets done, copy, paste, put that information, that's Ron number two. So I've got Ron number one, Ron number two. Then I will put my second shooter's cards in there, back those up. Those are now in there. I rename them all the same information, bride, groom, date, bride, groom, wedding, date, and then second shooter's name, number one and number two. So now I've got four memory cards and I take those and put those off into the side over there. Four folders on my either, ex uh, more than likely on the hard drive of my computer or uh, an extreme drive on the side, but more than likely it's on the hard drive of my computer. I then take those folders and I will take my two folders first uh, I don't like doing all four, four folders all at once. First of all, because it takes a lot of time. Second of all, I don't want there to be an error or a hiccup along the way. So I will take my two folders, right click, save to external drive, save, go to bed. Shut my monitor off and I go to bed. I get up the next morning, those are already done. Take the second shooters, carry those over to the external drive, those are done. Now they're all backed up in there and I label them copies. So all of my originals are on my card over here. All my originals are all on the folders on my hard drive. And then my backups are all in my external hard drives. I've got a four terabyte um, hard drive external off to the side, all marked copy. So one, two, three backups of the same wedding. Habitually, every single wedding, that is what I do, no matter what. Even I do the same thing with all of my, all of my sessions. Memory cards up in the corner, hard drive, and external drive. Now, when I go to doing my weddings, when it comes to how I do it, I have pre-made folders. Getting ready, first look, ceremony, reception. Four folders like that. I will put those four folders into my RON number one. I will then look at all of my pictures. They'll pull them up on the computer so there's 15, 1,000 pictures in there. Let's say there's 1,000 pictures in there. I will take the 200 of the getting ready and I will put them into 250, put them into the getting ready. Take the other 250 or whatever the numbers are, whatever the getting ready pictures, put it in the getting ready folder. The first look pictures, put them in the first look folder. Ceremony pictures in the first folder, in the ceremony folder. Reception photos in the reception folder. Then I'll do the same exact thing for my second camera and, and then the second shooter and then the second shooter. I know everybody's process is different, but for me, I like to make sure that the backups are all safe and they are. When I pull things up into Lightroom, I don't like pulling up a thousand images into the library and then try and bring a thousand images into the develop mode. Because you have to put them in the develop mode in order to send them out to a, uh, Imagine AI or Aftershoot or matter which, they have to be in your catalog inside of your Lightroom before you can export them out, if you export them out, okay? Then I feel it's a long time it takes the process to export images out. So I've already waited all of that time to import all of the images, back up all the images, and then export all of them out once I'm done editing them. So once I go back into things, so now I'm gonna pull up just the getting ready pictures. So now I know I can sit down for about 45 minutes and go through, call all the ones that I want, edit the ones that I want, and then export out 200 images to my same folder. So when I export, I go back into the same folder, RON number one, and then I will put inside of there <clears throat> a folder called Lightroom, LR. Then I export all of my images from the getting ready out to the Lightroom folder. So now I have the originals, all my raw folders in my getting ready. Then I have the ones edited, JPEGs, exported into the LR folder. So now I've got the originals, if I still need it, and then the JPEGs in the next folder after that. So then I can go get a breakfast, I can, have it, I can do whatever I wanna do from there, then I'll go back and do the first look, then I'll go back and do the ceremony, then I'll go back and do the reception. And it gives me breaks in between, instead of trying to sit down and try and edit a thousand images, I do them in segments. So that I can get up and walk around, grab a bite to eat, go do errands while it's exporting out, come back, and then my next folder's ready to go. Then I'll do that for the second shooter's folders. Then I do that for my second camera folders. Now when I export all of them out, they all have originals and LR for the Lightroom edits. 
I will pull up the Lightroom edits first. If I have 250 in the getting ready folder, and then I have 250 in the Lightroom folder, I delete the Lightroom folder. Meaning I delete the, sorry, I delete the getting ready folder because I have everything in JPEG in the Lightroom. I don't need them anymore, I delete them off. That frees up the, your hard drive space. So then I'll go through all of my folders, get rid of all of the originals from the folders. I have all of my Lightroom folders still. Then I will pull up the Lightroom folder and then bring them into Photoshop. So then I'll bring them into like, I'll do like 50 at a time. So I'll pull up 50 images in, light, in Photoshop and then I'll start editing, tweaking, cloning, stamping, whatever I need to do export back out again, all at 12, which is high resolution, export them back out again, and then they're done. So once I go through all of those over there, and if I don't like an image or I don't want it, I literally crop it. So I'll have my crop tool right there. I literally take the image that's, you know, 22 megapixels, whatever it is. If I don't like it, I crop it so that there's nothing in it, make like a really small box, then it's saved as, and then it gets out of uh, Photoshop, then, all those images are done from that wedding. Then I go back to the getting ready folder. Then I will go back into the LR Lightroom folder. Then I will look at all of the images from there. Any ones that have been cropped or they're small or they're black or whatever, I delete all of those. So let's say 30 images came out of that. Now I'm all down to um, 220 or whatever the number is. So I delete all the bad ones from there. I have not changed the numbers to any of these. So these are, I shoot for Sony, so they start with A, and then they run through the gamut of all of that. So they're all still the same original numbers. When I export them out and bring them out of Photoshop, I put them into a separate folder. Now, PS for Photoshop, okay? Then everything from there is now going into one folder. So all of my getting ready, that was from Lightroom, done in Photoshop, export out to PS. All of my um, first look, ceremony, reception, all exported, out, all edited, exported out to PS Photoshop folder. Now when I click on that Photoshop folder, I have all the A numbers that are still labeled that way. They did not renumber them yet. Then I will highlight them all, go to my first one, rename, and click one. So now all of my images that are usable, good, sellable, just deliverable, whatever it is, now they've all been numbered the way they did. The reason why I do that, if I had, I had a, I, I originally changed them to all the numbers that they were. I had a thousand images, I changed the first one to number one, and then I had a thousand images, so I took all of the A's off of them. When you import those images into Lightroom, it changes the way that it imports them. It changes them according to the numbers, okay? So, it throws them off. You will have some pictures being um, out of order. So some of the reception pictures, I don't know why it does this. Some of the reception pictures end up in the getting ready uh, because of how they're numbered and some of the getting ready end up down over by the, uh, and if you're trying to batch them, it throws the synchronization and, and sync button all off. So I don't do that. I edit them all, raw files, keep all the, the numbers the same. At the very end, when I'm exporting them out, I get them into Photoshop. I've already got rid of all the bad ones. I'm done. Change the numbers to one. Now that I've got 890 images all labeled the way that they are. So you don't have one, two, three, five, seven, 14, 22, and so on and so forth. So after that's all done, I still have the originals. I still got the memory cards over there. I do not format my memory cards until after I deliver to the, to the client. So have plenty of memory cards on hand to keep you, so you don't have to keep reusing them. Very important. If for some crazy bizarre reason, something happens to your hard drive, you still have the memory cards to go back to. It's a good process. Once I'm done, I was like, whew, I feel good. Put that card back inside of my camera, format it, that wedding's done. Every wedding is exactly the same. Every client, no matter what I'm doing, is all done the same. The process is still done the same. So thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I appreciate it. That is my mundane, not mundane, um, very like boring process of post weddings when it comes to that. So if you guys do anything different, put it down in the comments. If this helped you in any way, put that in the comments. Give the channel a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. Um, so hopefully that helped you with your post wedding process when it comes to that. So thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Uh, remember to smile more because it sure does hurt less. Peace.